So I've been John Lang, guys. Welcome back to Into the Breach. This is chapter 29, and when we last left off, uh, I had said that I wasn't going to be doing more videos in a while, and it's true. I actually started another game. Um, I'm going to have to end this game here, actually. I started another game. The problem was that uh, my friend gave me, gave me a game through Steam, and... Um, so I wanted to start that, but then also I've been playing this off screen to get more of the achievements as you can see. And as much as I wanted to tell myself that I wanted to play these and then just come back and do a four island victory with it after whenever I was ready, I really want the first time I play these to be the first time I'm recording it. So I'm probably going to play the last, you know, make another four recording sessions worth of videos for these. Excuse me. I'm going to skip randomize and custom squad for the time being. And then I'll do this secret squad when we unlock that and then we'll go from there. So <clears throat> I will use the Steel Judicai. These mechs specialize in positional manipulation to turn the Vec against each other. Third, this is one of the harder ones to use. Uh, we got Vice Fist so you can grab a unit and toss it behind you. Uh, cluster Artillery. Protect a tile by damaging and pushing adjacent tiles. And then grab well. A totally weapon that pulls its target towards you. So it's definitely going to be uh, different. I'm going to have to pull up some names here. But yeah, no, off screen for this game. I, uh, I've pretty much gotten every achievement that I can so far. There's just one achievement that I'm missing for... The custom squad and then I have all the achievements for all the other squads including random squad as for uh, achievements for game I don't have the hard playthrough playthrough once with all those squads uh, I don't have the get to island 3 without upgrading uh, weapons and then I get to island 3 destroying all the, um, the time pods just because I haven't even though I have been playing off screen it hasn't been like all the time so actually played very little and busy so we got compact gear we got infernal suit and the last one is going to be fury walker it's gonna be three mechs here let's go ahead and start the game up I'll have to name our friends as soon as we jump in there and then uh yeah so anyways after I said with the last session where I said I was going to uh I was gonna stop recording this for a while um, I did. I started playing Evil Genius, and um, it's a really, it's fun, but it's super slow. I don't really know how I feel about it entirely, but I mean, I am going to be showing the footage I have. I have like up to chapter 10 right now, and to put this in context, while I'm recording this, it's, I just uploaded chapter 13 and 14, so I'm ahead of the game, pretty ahead of the game here. Uh, so what do we got in Archive Inc? I got Scorpions, Scarabs, Fireflies. Uh, I think it's just straight up Armored Scion. And then the leader's a Scorpion leader. So we'll be able to do this here. I'm going to try to go for a four island, obviously. But yeah, no. So I started... Uh, it's alright, Shell Scion. That's what they're called. But yeah, no. Any any case, I started... um playing evil genius like I said and besides the fact that it's actually pretty slow it's decent I mean I could I could have fun with it now that like I said I'm definitely gonna show it regardless so Trying to figure the best way out. Best way out. Best way to do this here. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot this artillery gun is a little bit different, as you could probably tell. There 
we go. Scarab and a scorpion. Yeah. So unfortunately, I can't really throw him because it would throw him into the train. Make him do two damage to that. Go ahead and tank the damage there. I only got one more turn and I only have two guys to deal with, so I should be okay. <clears throat> I definitely don't like this weapon loadout, but if I can't make it work. would love to do that, but that's actually going to get me killed. If I flip him there, he's going to start attacking the train. I think the obvious route... Doesn't really matter which one I go for. That's a successful mission. Right on. Yeah, this is this is gonna be uh, long, but this should be alright. Like I said in past, I uh, like the challenge. Gonna be the same thing either way. So I gotta protect the uh, power generator and actually have shield uh, shields active on some of these buildings. I would like to think that this is pretty self-explanatory. Move him there. So I can stop one guy from coming up. I think I just got lucky here. In a in a way. Now, if I move over, I throw him into that building because it has a shield. Let's go like that instead. Now one thing that this mech, uh, this squad doesn't tell you is that this mech actually has natural armor. So it actually takes one less uh, attack damage from anything. Uh, as long as it's physical attack. So if it's a push attack, uh, well basically it just follows the same rules as uh, armor does. So uh, weapon damage. All of the damage, pushing, blocking, fire, etc. is unaffected. Should have did that backwards, but that's fine. Oh shit! 
I didn't think that through. That is completely on me. Fuck. Fucking shell scion. Okay, and apparently I'm gonna die here too because of my mistake. Kind of upset about that low key, but I mean, I didn't actually. I didn't lose my bonus objective, and it really was only one grid defense making this uh, mission basically worthless. So. All in all, I'd say it's, you know, it's alright. Go for this one. Tidal waves. Bonus objective is going to be covered pretty quickly by everything but flying. Of course there's a pod incoming. Just gonna leave it. If we end up uh, successfully, not defending it for lack of a better word, but if we manage to not get it destroyed then I'll be happy with that. One more back if I'm gonna do it there. <coughs> I forgot that this was a kill challenge one too. Not that I really had a choice in what I should have done there, but well, that guy's just asking for it, so he's good. he's done. Fortunately, can't really aim at this person. Just end the turn right there. <clears throat> now, even though I'm in uh, quote unquote danger. It only turns these tiles into water. It doesn't do damage to these tiles. So as long as your unit doesn't get destroyed by water, and it shouldn't, because I'm pretty sure every single unit is massive or, you know, can sustain water, then you're fine. And again, I don't have to, I don't have to collect that time pod. As long as I finish the mission with it not being destroyed. But I just got enough kills. So that was good. Let's crack this open and see what we got. Reactor core. There's always a reactor core. Sometimes it's a chance to have other stuff in it too, obviously, but when you having wouldn't mind having buildings immune. So we're gonna save up for that one. I always hate doing the destroy the damn mission. Plus, on this one, I don't have a direct way to attack it. I would have to use uh, the artillery unit, and it would take two turns. So, we'll go defend the tanks instead. I don't like the tank placement, but it's a whole other thing, I guess. <clears throat> Divide and conquer, apparently. I like it. Alright, so... That's my first turn. <sighs> we 
Right now, this is the most brutal thing I can face because I don't have the uh, the damage to do the uh, damage to fight these guys. Well, he'll die at least. I can kill that off next turn and then I'll just have to deal with two guys. <clears throat> well, three guys technically, but I don't really count any of the Scions as an enemy. I just count them as a nuisance rather. Push tanks should be coming online though. The good news. So that thing's dead before it hits its next turn. And that's dead. So I cleared the field efficiently. <clears throat> it's not looking good for a last turn, but I do have five to their three, so. Who would have thought? Well. I would love to do that, but I know for a fact that that's just not the right thing to do. Either way, I was only going to be able to kill one of them, and it didn't really matter because, I mean, I didn't have a kill challenge out. Alright. Let's see what you got. Not looking forward to this at all. This is going to be painful, and I don't know if I will be able to get this kill, but... Try my best, and we'll hope for the best. About all I can do right now. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to do that, unfortunately. Woe is me. He's not attacking anything, so this round I could focus everything on to getting this guy into a crappy position. I'm gonna take one damage because the armor. And then I still only have to deal with these two enemies, so I should be able to. Eh. It's grim, but I was gonna say I should be able to kill this guy. Just thought about that actually, I can't do that. I'll have to move him. Or I'll get Ozzy killed and I really don't want to do that. Then I could pick him up and throw him. And that would get rid of him. That's pretty much the play here. I managed to kill him, surprisingly.
Damn it. Actually, no, I'm I'm still screwed. Fuck. So what happens when you don't think things through? It's because I'm relying too much on that friggin' button. Stupid uh, reset button. You're gone. I mean, at least I still kept the bonuses. That's the, the second most important thing here. I did lose Ozzy, but no. That's my fault. Like I said, though, this is definitely a harder squad to use, considering most of my damage is inconsistent. I just hope that this isn't the wrong move. So I have another two, so I could just up the damage there. Might as well, eh? Alright, time to leave that island. I think that's how I want to do it. One, two, three, and four. The blast garden kill at least five enemies and protect the old bar. The old earth bar, I should say. Now that this thing does two damage, should be all right. I do like this, uh, these maps. You guys are just lining up for me. I need the uh, kills, so I'm not gonna block the spawn points. I thought about it for a quick second there. Why would you do that to me? I mean, it's an easy fix, it's just annoying. Still haven't had to use Stapper in his mech yet, thankfully. Now, the Hornet will survive the uh, Cataclysm there because flying. So. I don't think I had to move Stapper once during that entire map. I just left him there. It's awesome. I did see that. That was, that was unique. All right, Sheer County, Sh County, Sheer County, and battle with less than four mech damage and protect the emergency batteries. I don't like these holes though because hornets are gonna spawn up from them. The only reason I know is because I've played this scenario before with uh, random chasm tiles there. All right, well. Wherever he goes, I have to be able to hit him with this. And I'm just hoping the Leaper comes after me. Yeah, it did. And there's those Hornets I was telling you guys about. So I think that's the first attack, no matter what. Yeah, no, I have to throw him.
Doesn't really matter what I do with Stapper. It's just gonna move the positioning of Stapper and then the enemies. If I could change the um, Stapper's mech from the gravity well to something else, that would honestly be in my better interest. Now, I kind of want to use that there, but at the same time, I kind of don't. I'd rather use it here. Just don't think I'm going to be able to. I definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not going to be able to use it there, unfortunately. So... I'll just move my mech down. Should be the last turn, though. Hmm. I think I feel better doing it this way. Never mind, because I can't reach over there, of course. Really, then there's only one way to do this, <clears throat> and that would be this way. Not that I, I did it that way, the other way first, because I didn't want to move Stapper. It's just I thought it would be more efficient. But I mean, it's the same, same outcome. One of them would have died, and the other would have survived. I just figured I would be able to get over here with my mech. Destroy two mountains and kill at least five enemies. That's, uh... Well, I mean, I could shoot up there and that would be my mountain kills right off the bat. Although I really should get rid of this guy there. This can be on the back burner for destroying that. take the damage there I know it's not wise but I wanted to get rid of both those guys felt like that was the better option so they're basically giving me a free turn here so I should take it and destroy both of these mountains As for these two they're not both gonna do damage to me only one of them is gonna actually do damage to me That's kind of crappy. I can throw this guy into the water, though. I can just grab well him away. Back one. Alright. One more turn. Well, they're both dead. <laughs> 